now I'm going to uh, literally shoot a um, web series um, for a friend of mine, a comedian, who's also a gun uh, enthusiast. So he's going freak. to freak. It's a freak. He's a gun freak. So I'm going to go somewhere and shoot guns. Now put your finger in the trigger. I've shot guns. Okay. Mostly 22s. You know, like uh, go for hunting and then. Uh, you ever shoot shotgun? Ant? Shotguns too? Okay. Duck, duck hunting. And then. Oh, okay, uh, well, you're. I won't, have, I won't need to do anything with you. Wow. Just give you the bullets and point you in the right direction. <laughs> okay. I, uh, <laughs> That's why we only put one in. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna have to hold it a little bit tighter. Right. Cinnamon. Ah, nice, nice work on the old uh, mix there of putting that all together. Keep you from drinking for one more day. Well, you know, it's four years, seven months, not with no alcohol and drugs. Two years, eight months without a cigarette. I'm still kind of keen on the coffee. There's a lot of uh, research that coffee is actually good for you. There's also a lot of research that cocaine is good for you too. True enough. You got it on the, uh, the red. On the red. There you go. Do another one. Okay. When I was in rehab, they had like decaf coffee, and the first day I was there, a the guy slips me a little red package, and it's caffeinated coffee crystals that I can bump my morning coffee up with. So, like, whatever they say we can have, there's a market for it. That's what we need. See, all the time we were coming up here, we didn't have any small talk about coffee. This time we're doing it right. <laughs> so what are, what are we shooting today? They'll all be, they'll all be pistols. But I mean, what, what are we shooting at? Uh, children. I've got some. <laughs> so yeah, they'll be running around holding targets up. You're not supposed to shoot at them. Right. So four for four, we're on target. Oh, there's one down there. We didn't get. Lots of times people are shooting either too high or too low, but you've right. got the. You've, well, you've shot guns before. Yeah. So that's a good one there. Did you have a good time, Richard? I had a great time. It's a little bit scary, but as you can see, I shot the fuck out of this fucking target. So if a 11 by 14 piece of paper is coming at me, it doesn't stop. Very chance. slow. Very slow. Very slowly. <laughs> okay, release it. And now you can pull the trigger again. Well, you know, like I, I face death imminently twice in, with cancer and then with alcoholism. Both those diseases, you know, that, you know, my number and uh, and I was able to through no real effort or working hard on my own um, been able to sort of recover from those I mean if without the socialized medicine of Canada I'd be dead so I mean one of the reasons I don't feel the need to rush off to America and sort of entertain Americans is because you know the Canadian government, like they spared no expense mm -hmm. to keep me alive, spared no expense to get me in a treatment for alcoholism. I got to, you know. Anyway, for me, I think what's the value of being alive to entertain? I should be doing it for Canadians. Seems a bit. You know, ungracious of me to say, "Oh, thanks for uh, spending all that money to get me alive." Now I'm off to the Go states. To the states to be yeah. and subject them to your comedy. Exactly. <laughs> the bullet itself, 
um, combined with the push of the gun, the kick of it, and the sound was just like, really? Is this, what, is this what's going on? And immediately my little scared, panicky little boy self was going, I have to get out of here. <laughs> so like many things in my life, I pretended that it was no biggie. Oh, sure, boom. And then, then we did it again. Um, Exhilarating. Exhilarating. <laughs> <laughs> like, when was the last time since you quit drinking and doing drugs that your heart's <laughs> been pounding like this? <laughs> Maybe when I was uh, walking past uh, uh, a bar through a cloud of pot smoke for the first time. <laughs> that was the last time I felt my life in danger. Mm -hmm. So well, your life's not in danger here. You're safer here than probably anywhere else yeah, in Toronto, true enough. especially during Caravana. <laughs> <laughs> true enough. So pull the trigger all the way back. Okay. And then I'll tell you when to release it. Okay, release it. And now you can pull the trigger again. Okay, drop the mag. The regimen of firing a gun in a gun range I found um, interesting and and strangely comforting to know that they had thought of the innumerable ways that a person could blow their face off. <laughs> that's right. We're gonna have to make up a new rule. That's Jimmy right. lost an ear. <laughs> that's right. That's right. We'll call it the Jimmy rule. And no scratching your ear with the barrel of your gun, right? And this now falls into a category of things I never really expected to do because I was a comedian. And that was to go to the Aurora Gun Club and fire, I don't know, 40 rounds of 9mm. Full metal jacket. Full metal jacket bullets into a threatening piece of paper target that was coming at me and what could I do? Deadly force was what was required. Same, that paper was saying bad stuff about that, your mom. It was saying stuff about my mom. It, it said racist things against Irish people. On, uh, so when are you going to start buying guns, Richard? Um, so right, I got to get paid on Tuesday mm -hmm. for my gigs in Niagara Falls. What would be a good starter gun? The 22? Yeah, the 22. <laughs>